Hi, Freaky friends. Today is Tuesday. And um, today, this time I'm going to read the book, the book entitled Anansi and His Children. It's retold by Bonnie Debkin and illustrated by Meyer Saikai. As you can see the front cover of the book, you see these characters of the stories. What do you think the characters of the stories? This, the, I mean this story. Let's find out. Far, far away in the land of Ashanti, there once lived <clears throat> a most marvelous creature. His name was Anansi, and he was a spider. So Anansi is one of the characters of the story, and his name is Anansi. I mean, yeah, his name is Anansi, and he is a spider. Some said Anansi was wise. After all, he had lived a long time and was great friends with Naomi and God of all things, the God of all things. Some said Anansi was clever. After all, he could weave marvelous webs and spin magical stories. So, some said Anansi was a mischief maker. After all, he loved to play tricks on both enemies and friends, and sometimes in on his own family. The truth was, Nancy was all of these things. He was wise, clever, and a mischief maker. But Nancy was also a father, and he had six children, whom he loved very much. Each had a name that described a special talent. So, Nancy was also a father of six children that have this different special talent. The first child was called Sea Trouble because that's what he could do. The second child was Road Builder. She could build paths through and to anything. The third child was a river drinker. He could drain a river down to its rocky bottom. The fourth child was a game skinner. No matter what animal he fought, he won. The fifth child was stone thrower. She could pick up a stone no matter how large, then throw it far and high. And the sixth child was called cushion because he was a very, very soft. So, which one you think you like? Mom, I like the red. I like the orange one. You like the orange one, the fifth child. Yeah, the fifth child. He's a stone thrower. He can throw stone far away and high. What? One day, Anansi Mama, found. Wow, well, like red one. You like the red one. One day, Anansi found a strange glowing orb in the forest how beautiful he said i will give it to one of my children but who he thought and thought i know said clever anansi i will go far away and my children will think i'm lost yes what are you reading? Um, it's about Anansi. You can you can listen, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Whoever loves me most will come to find me, and that child will receive the orb. So Anansi set off, but before he had gone far, wind came rushing across the plains. He picked Anansi up and spun him around there, with all his eight legs twirling. Hoo hoo! Anansi said. It's time somebody played a trick on you. So this is the page where Anansi found this orb and he was thinking, who who would receive this orb? Who do you think would receive the orb? 
but then the wind played the trick on him. Mama, wind, uh, Mama, um, the big giant fish. You will, you will, you will um, hear later what happened to that fish. Wind took a Nancy across the plains, through a forest, and over a mountain. Then he dropped a Nancy by the side of a river. Goodbye, Nancy, laughed Wind. Have a nice walk home. Yeah. But Nancy was very dizzy from the Mama, spinning and swirling. Mama, I, need, I need you to voice off first. Before he knew it, he tumbled into the river. Yes. Okay, now I'm... Is that nice? We'll see. Oh, no. Said Nancy, rowing with all his eight legs to get back to shore. To get back to shore? But before he could reach land, a big fish saw him wriggling, swam up, and swallowed him. And swallowed him? This fish swallowed a Nancy. And Nancy? Yeah, this is a Nancy being so tired from spinning up on the Mama, air and Mama, him Mama, look. Look being like ready to swallowed by the big giant fish. Mama, look. look. I know, he looks very tired. Mama. Careful because the coffee is hot. Coffee. Back at home, see trouble saw what had happened. Father is in trouble, he cried. We must go and save him. Yeah. Yeah, because he can see, he can see the problem he can see any kind of problem that's why he's called sea trouble he can see he can look he can um, mama if you step on a spider though you will just stick to the web yeah yeah but they, they're different they uh, yeah they can make look they, they make their own the road build and make their own path yeah, and to they save that. That's to save her father. That's actually their building. Yeah, you wait. Okay. Sorry, Mom. Be careful. Road builder hopped into action. She spun a path across the plains, through the forest, over the mountain, and to the river. <coughs> so this is Sea Trouble seeing the problem that his dad needs help. Sea Trouble, um, and this and road builder build a path across the plains now river drinker went to work draining the water soon fish was flapping on the rocky bottom oh look river drinker can you imagine how he can drink all this water next next game skinner split the fish wide open and pop a nancy my wonderful children he cried so um game skin open cut and open the fish tummy for a nancy to go out from his butt from the fish body yeah but before he could hug them with the, any of his eight legs a falcon swooped down the sky from the sky not again, cried Nancy as he was carried into the air. Now it was stone thrower's turn. She snatched up a heavy stone and threw it with all her might. Mom. So look how stone thrower threw a stone to Falcon. It's a big bird. It's a big bird? Yeah, to save his father. The stone hit the bird who screeched and squawked and dropped a Nancy. Cushions crumbled underneath to protect his father from the fall. See how Cushion was so smart to, to run after and be under on his dad's falling, from falling. So that was, that was clever. Oh. That was a clever action. So which, which you think? Which you think, which of these children you think a Nancy would give the orb? Uh, it's a special gift that... I, 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 I can pick the color that matches. Matches with her? Yeah. Let's see. No, the, the color that matches with those. With the orb? Okay, let's see. What a happy tangle 
there was as Anansi hugged his children with all his eight legs. But then Anansi realized he had a problem. Whom would he give the herb to? No. He called out, he called to the, first, he, give first. me a second. He called out to Naomi, the God of all things. Help me, Naomi, whom shall I choose? After all, sea trouble saw my danger and called for help. Road builder brought my children to me. River drinker drained the river that hid me. Game skinner opened the fish that swallowed me. Give me a second. Stone thrower saved me from the bird's claws. And cushion caught me when I fell. No, I need to number. I need to pick the color. Okay, which one? The green one goes to this one. The red one goes to this one. The one. The purple one goes to this one. Oh, you're trying to sort them, okay? Yeah, and the orange one goes to way over here. Okay, let's see which uh, which one of them will be chosen by Anansi. Wise Naomi answered, "Then all your children deserve the treasure. Give the herb to me." I will place it in the sky for all of them to enjoy. Look, Miami put it on the sky. Mama. And the moon. So this is this is Anansi with his friend Miami, the god of all things. And and the moon is still there to this very day. Mama, what's this? <gasps> all right, give me a second. And I hope you guys I hope you guys like it and I look forward for your comments down below. Bye. Wishing you well friends.